Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of live stream leftovers. So, I think it was last week we did a live stream where we had Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Eastern European foods from John's Marketplace here in Los Angeles. It's a, uh, I would say a relatively small chain, but the store itself, the grocery store itself, is really, really large. And they have, they actually have things that are outside of that region as well. They have some Latin American groceries as well. But the thing they're really known for is Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, and Eastern European. So we did a live stream with that. We had about, I think, eight different things. And um, we had leftovers, and I thought, why waste leftovers? Let's make something with the leftovers. Now, what we won't be using today is that we had some rum Neapolitan wafers, and we're not going to be using those for obvious reasons. So we actually want to put something together that actually tastes good. So we're going to make a sandwich with our, our leftovers. So. We have here these Dietz and Watson pickled tomatoes. They're pickled green tomatoes. They have a nice crispness to them, real tart. Uh, this I added in. We didn't do this on the show, but these are pepperoncini from Greece. And uh, so we're just going to add those to the sandwich to give it a little bit of spice. We have uh, Onassis brand okra baked in oil. We have Riga gold cod liver. And I mashed that a little bit just to make it easier to go in a sandwich. We have this one I'm really looking forward to. This is Pindo's uh, halloumi cheese. Now. Halloumi cheese is a goat's and sheep milk mixture. It's a mixture and it has a very, very high melting point. So uh, it's uh, grilled a lot and it's fried a lot. And so what we decided to do is we're going to grill it and see what that does to the flavor. As on the live stream, we just, you know, we just sliced it and ate it. But we grilled it today. It has a really nice color and I'm really looking forward to that. We have, um, this is Podravka brand liver pate, and I believe it's pork liver pate. That's spreadable anyways. And then this one, which is pork stew and lard. This is from Belmont Sausage Company, which is made here in the United States. One of the other things that I'm going to add in here that I didn't have in the live stream is uh, this mustard. This is extra hot mustard, and it is from Russia. So the brand is Zara's, made with authentic recipe from Russia. So again, we're gonna use that to actually put some kick to it, to zest it up. So let's get started. I have some toast here. And uh, let's see, let's, let's start with the spreadable stuff on the toast first. So I'm gonna put some mustard on this. Mm, it doesn't really particularly smell hot. But you know, I'm gonna exercise a little bit of caution here. Okay. Then, uh, as long as we're into the spreadable stuff, let's put the liver pate on there. I'm just going to put it right on top of the mustard. Kind of spread that. It's a little bit thinner in consistency than li I'd say liverwurst. And it's a pork liver pate. As a matter of fact, I think everything here is pork. I mean, any of the, the meat objects, I believe, are all pork. You know, if I'm gonna have, you know, six, eight snacks, something like that, I don't want anything to go to waste. I don't wanna I don't wanna buy those things and then have them go to waste. Now, obviously if they taste bad, I'm not gonna be like that into uh, eating them, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's put that on that side, and on this one, let's put the cod liver. And this had a lot of oil in it, because it's cod liver packed in its own oil. There was a lot of oil in there. Now. A little bit is, is good for you, um, but actually uh, you can you can actually have too much and it can actually be bad for you. So I uh, drained out the oil in this and then I just kind of mashed it with a fork a little bit. It didn't really taste that fishy. So I don't think it's going to take away or you know be offensive to the taste of the sandwich. All right, there we go. Now let's see, let's put, um, let's put some pepperoncinis on there. I'm gonna go heavy on that because these, these they're in vinegar and they, they have kind of a strong taste and I just don't want them to overpower it. Let's put some of the green tomato on there. And again, uh, they always use an unripe tomato for pickling. It's a way to preserve them. And if you saw how I sliced them, they sliced really easy. If you had used a ripe tomato, like a ripe red tomato, it would not have sliced that easy. All right, let's see, let's put uh, let's put some okra on there. Yeah, 
And okra can, can be like a little bit chewy sometimes, but from what I remember, this is actually baked in oil. And from what I remember from the live stream, this just kind of fell apart pretty easy. There we go. Then I'm gonna put the cheese on top of that. And let's finish it off with the pork. And again, this is a uh, pork stew in lard. And there is a lot of lard. So I think I would say like maybe 80% of this is was fat and it's probably from the lard. So um, this I drained a little bit as well. I actually, I'm gonna go on a limb here. I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be really good, but we'll see. Let's top that off. And now, I could cut that in half so you could see what the cross section looks like. I don't wanna do that because I, I want this to stay together. There's a lot of wet and loose things in there. That's a nice looking sandwich right there. All right, here we go. No. When I ate the cheese, just slicing it, it was kind of squeaky. When I grilled it, it has a crispness on the outside. It's golden brown and crisp on the outside, but it still has a squeakiness on the inside. It's really nice. When I did grill it, I used olive oil because I wanted to keep with the Mediterranean, Middle Eastern theme. Wow. That's a good sandwich. That's a really good sandwich. The, taste, the tomato, when you eat the tomato just out of the can, really sour. Assembling it in this sandwich takes that away and you just get the flavor of that green tomato. That's really nice. Pepperoncini doesn't, doesn't get carried away there. Everything, all the, the pork and the pâtés, the liver products, really smooth, really mellow. That's an outstanding sandwich. That's a big, big thumbs up. That's two thumbs up. And that's a really good sandwich. Now, I don't recommend you go out and try all these ingredients and put them all together in a sandwich, but I do recommend that you go out and try these. Uh, you know, just go out and try these different tastes. Um, vary it up a little bit. You see something a little bit more interesting, you know, try that as well. Let us know down in the comments below what you tried, if you tried anything different, or if you try to get the same things and try to do it yourself, uh, let us know what you think as well. So um, get out there, try these things, try them individually, try them combined, try different ones, but just get out there and try it. But just remember when you get out there that it's crazy out there. So please be careful, take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.